sweet. You can definitely taste the honey, but it's not fucking overpowering. Where can I buy a keg of it? Good job. Good job. So how would you rate it, uh, Rob, out of out of five being the best? Best beer I've ever tasted? Yeah. Well, 4.8. Well, that's pretty damn fine, mate. For a, um, for a home brew? For one, of, one of the first home brews I've ever tried that I've actually enjoyed. Yeah. Awesome. This is the first time you're trying this beer, isn't it? It is, it is. Okay, buddy, you give me your honest opinion and you just take a take a wee swig and tell me what uh, what your flavours you're getting and uh, what, what you think of the beer out of five. She's sweet, definitely sweet. You can definitely taste the honey in it. However, it works. It works, it complements itself. Bloody fine drop. Probably... Four. Four point two, maybe. Awesome. Beautiful. I'm gonna take a swig. I'm dead, bro. Just a second. So obviously I'm not gonna cheat. I've I've tried this beer already. But um but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be honest and give it a Give it a kick in the pants. I would agree with the with the guys. Uh, you can taste the manuka honey in it, and, and you can distinctly taste that it is manuka, not just plain honey. And um, but it's not overpowering. It has got a sweetness to the beer, and. Uh, a nice malt characteristic. It's it's carbonated very well, and I would rate it. This is my own beer, of course. I'm rating. I would rate it a healthy, a healthy four to four and a half out of five. Because for me, as far as a home brew goes, it's one of my betters. Cheers. Drink good beer. Cheers, 17.